Google Chrome is the world's most used browser. With its clean interface, syncing capabilities, and so many useful extensions, it's not hard to understand why it's so popular. Coming up, I will show you 10 Chrome extensions that you just can't live without. You could try living without these, but why would you want to? Let's get to it. First up is the Wayback Machine. This extension shows you what a website used to look like in the past, even if that site no longer exists. I'll use YouTube as an example. When you select the Wayback Machine icon, you have the choice to save that page now, view a recent version of that page. First version will let you view the oldest archived page of that website, along with buttons to gather more information about that site and social media sharing options. I'll select first version to see what YouTube looked like when it started. Most people might be surprised to learn that YouTube was a dating site in its earlier days. Using the timeline here at the top, you can jump to another archived page for that site. Let's take a look at June of 2010. As you can see, YouTube has changed quite a bit over the years. Even with billions of web pages stored, the Wayback Machine doesn't have every web page ever created but it's a cool extension to discover what your favorite websites used to look like. If you're looking for a fully featured screenshot tool for Chrome, Awesome Screenshot is one of the best. If you want to take a screenshot on a web page, selecting the Awesome Screenshot icon gives you the options to capture the visible part of the page, a selected area, the entire page, select an image from one of your drives, or take a screenshot of your desktop. You do have the option to record your screen, but you're better off using OBS Studio or something similar. For this one, I'll select Capture Visible Part of Page. There's a bar at the top with several choices, including Crop, Pen, Text, and several others. When you're done editing, select Done. Here you can upload it to the Awesome Screenshot website or save it locally to your computer. Earlier this year, Stylish, the popular user styles manager extension, was removed from the Chrome, Firefox, and Opera web stores after getting caught tracking all websites from its users and sending that data to a remote server. The best alternative right now is Stylus. It's based on the source code of an earlier version of Stylish. You could write your own personalized CSS style sheets, or you could download them from the Stylish website to be used with Stylus. For example, right now, I'm using the Super Mario style on the Google search page. Stylus features one of the best privacy policies I've ever seen. Unlike other similar extensions, we don't find you to be all that interesting. Your questionable browsing history should remain between you and the NSA. Stylus collects nothing, period. Next up is Just Read. This extension removes ads, comments, and other clutter from a web page, making it easier to read with less distractions. It couldn't be any easier to use. Clicking on the Just Read icon will instantly clean up the page. In the upper right, selecting the Paintbrush icon will let you edit your theme, including the font size and colors. To the right of the paintbrush, there's a printer shortcut to quickly send the article to your printer. This will be a quick one that's useful for you students or writers out there. Cite This For Me makes it easy to create properly formatted website citations for the different styles, including APA, MLA, Chicago, and Harvard. To get the citation for an article that you'll be referencing, just click on the Cite For Me icon. Select your citation style, I'll go with APA here. Then just copy the citation for the article and paste it wherever you need it. If you've ever used Wikipedia, then you already know that it doesn't have the best looking interface and it can sometimes be difficult to find the information that you're looking for. Wikiwand, the award-winning extension, optimizes Wikipedia's content to give you an improved reading experience. As you can see, it has a cleaner layout and the fixed table of contents on the left makes it easier to navigate the page. If you select the settings icon in the upper right, there's even a setting to switch it to dark mode. Once you have the Wikiwand extension installed, there's nothing more that you need to do. When going to any Wikipedia page, 
it will automatically show you the Wikiwand layout. When doing a reverse image search, Tenai makes it easy to find out where an image came from, other websites using that same image, or find higher resolution versions. Google does offer an image search, but I find Tenai's to be superior. Once the extension is installed, just right click on any image and select Search Image on Tenai. This will open up a new tab. The default is Best Match. From the drop down menu, Biggest image is useful for finding higher resolution photos, and oldest is the best for tracking down the original source. Also listed are the file name, along with links to web pages where that photo can be found. Grammarly is a great extension that will improve your spelling and grammar. It can be used on Gmail, Twitter, and Facebook, or any other site where you write on the web. Here's a quick example. It's not too difficult to figure out. All the errors will be underlined in red. Hovering your mouse cursor over the errors will show you the corrections. Just click on the corrected text to fix the error. When you're on a website, selecting the Grammarly icon allows you to turn on or off grammar and spelling on specific sites, along with the option to show definitions and synonyms and which language you use for writing. Grammarly is only available in English. Colorzilla is an advanced eyedropper for digital design work. It will get you a color reading from any point in your browser. When you see a color on a web page that you want to use in a project, just select the Colorzilla icon. At the top, select Page Color Picker Active. Your cursor will change to a plus, and just hover it over the color that you want, and then left click. I'll go with this orange color here. Now that color will be saved to your clipboard where you can paste it into another program. To view the history of colors that you have picked, select the Colorzilla icon, then click on Picked Color History. Now you'll see all the colors that you have previously selected. Dark Reader is a cool extension I had previously mentioned in another video regarding dark modes. It brings a dark theme to just about every website. It decreases the white space which is easier on the eyes. It also inverts bright colors, making them high contrast. Selecting the Dark Reader icon gives you more control. You can turn the extension on or off for the current site. To the right, you can turn the extension on or off for all sites. Below that, you have filters for mode, brightness, contrast, sepia, and grayscale. Dark Reader works on just about every website and is one of the best new extensions I've tried out over the past year. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. What is your favorite Chrome extension that you can't live without? Let us know about it in the comments. If you haven't done so already, share this video with others, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon for more Chrome extensions and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.